Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to do a video on how you will do a try catch functionality in Power Automate. So the reason when you would use a try catch in programming is I suppose if you want to try try function or you're going to try and do a certain something programmatically and you don't know if it's going to always succeed. So instead of the whole thing dying, you would run a try catch. Um, and then in that try function, if it fails, you can you can execute something in that catch when you can catch that fail. So the way we would do that in a Power Automate flow, I'll just show you an example of this. Um, so it's actually not called a try catch. Um, you actually use scopes. Okay, so we might need to figure this. So what you will use for try catch in Power Automate is this scope control. So what we're going to do is we're going to add three of these. So I'm going to add my first scope, and I'm just going to rename this to be me try. Then I'm going to add my second scope. This will be my catch, and then I'm just going to add my third scope, and this will be my finally. And what we want to do with the run afters on this, so so how we set this try catch up is on the catch scope, we want to configure the run after and we want this to just be has failed. So this will execute if this try fails. Uh, and then for the finally, we want to change the, the run after for that and, and enable everything. So the finally will always run. Um, so to show you this in work and order, so that's pretty much our try catch, but I'll show you this in work and order when something fails. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create item and so I'm going to do this test here so what I'm going to do here is send an email So, I mean, just for this example, you know, you can put many things in this try. I've seen it mostly with like HTTP calls, but um, I don't have the premium license to do a HTTP call for this example. Um, and yeah, I'm not paying for that. So I'll just do it with this create item. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just for, again for this test, because we've trying to create an item, I want this to fail so we can show in the example. So what I'm going to just go and do is delete this list. Um, just so that when it tries to create that item, the list doesn't exist. And there we go. So I'm just going to run this now and we'll see this in action. So you can see our flow ran successfully. So as you can see there, this step failed. It straight away went into the catch and then it executed whatever was in that catch. So again, why you would use this, you know, sometimes in that catch, you can send an email to say something's failed. If you didn't put this, you know, see there's my email. If you didn't put this in a try catch and that did fail, then everything else in the rest of the flow will just die. It won't be run because the whole flow will, will just die at this stage. So this is why we'll use a try catch. Uh, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.